Welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and today I am going to unbox my Instapot. So I thought you'd, I'd take you along and see what's inside. Okay, so uh, not sure if you can see this, but this is model number I P D U O six zero V two. It is the it is the seven-in-one multi-use programmable pressure cooker, and on the side, this side, it does show you the seven different functions uh, that it does. It does a slow cooker, rice cooker, steamer, food warmer, pressure cooker, yogurt maker, and it sautés. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so I turned it on its side so that you can see as I open it, just see what it looks like. Uh, I, the handle was really handy in, in uh, carrying it once, once we purchased it. Okay, the first thing that is in the box is the package of books. Pretty standard with any product that you purchase. Uh, but what's inside is Get the English side here. Okay, and this is a quick reference guide. It's several different languages, uh, but it tells you, gives you the different settings and uh, what the automatic uh, settings are. It's a, they call it a process flow descriptions. The other thing is the standard product registration card. And I usually register it online just because it's a lot quicker and easier. Okay. Also in the bag, uh, there's an updated feature information sheet. Uh, it talks about a slow cooking temperature adjustments, audible beeping, the auto keep warm function, as well as memorizing the last used program. Inside, yeah, same thing, just different languages. There is the user manual, and also in several different languages, which is pretty standard here in the United States now. And uh, you have the gives you the model numbers that the manual covers. And the last thing that was in there, which I'm really excited to receive, uh, and that they include is the electric pressure cooker recipes. And second edition. So, uh, once again, in multiple languages. But, uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of soups and beans. Um, there's a Kinley mint salad. A lamb recipe. So, uh, you know, it'd be nice to try some of those recipes out. Okay. So, let's see here. This, oh, the power cord. The power phone, which my dog will probably chew up <laughs> if I don't put it away. And, oh, it looks like the lid is already attached. So it all comes out in one piece, which is really nice. I had to wear lids were separate and they fell out as I was removing everything. So, just out of the way. On the front is the control panel, and uh, on this side there's the rice, multi grain, porridge, steam. Over here is soup, meat and stew, bean and chili, poultry. And then down here, uh, under the display panel, is slow cook, uh, pressure, where you can adjust the pressure, and then a, the adjust button, yogurt, keep warm and cancel, timer, manual, and saute. Okay, so you open the lid, and looking at the lid here, you have venting, on that position and then 
that says, I don't know if I can read it, oh, sealing. That way you can make sure that it's going to pressurize. And a warning about watching when you release the steam. Okay, first bag inside is like a measuring cup and some spoons. Okay, you have a little soup spoon and a little serving paddle. And yes, these are measuring cups. And this one I believe is used to measure water or steam or so you get the right amount of water for steaming. Uh, not for sure, we'll get that directions and find out what that is. But then there is a measuring cup. It looks like it's know, one cup if you go all the way top, you got three quarters, one half and quarter, and then that's also in ounces, which is really nice because sometimes it gives ounces in recipes rather than actual cups. The next thing inside, there's Uh, a warning label before removing from the cooker. Uh, read safety instructions, important news, notes about certain foods, and what should be common sense about not placing hand, face, or unprotected skin over the steam release valve while cookers in operation. Uh, do not forcing the lid open uh, while the float valve is still up. Uh, just safety precautions to make sure that you don't get burned. Okay. This, this one is a little tray that you put in the bottom for certain types of cooking uh, so that whatever you're cooking doesn't sit directly on the bottom of the pan. And looks like it can sit, oops, it does look like it can sit. Uh, with the legs, the handles folded under, or of course more convenient would be this way so that you can lift it out. The next thing in the, in the cooker is the pot itself. What you would put the food in to cook it. Um, nice feature is that it does have measurements, both metric and standard. Uh, four liter or looks like 10, 12, maybe 14 cups. It only goes up to 10 though on the numbers, but there's a max fill line there. Uh, nice heavy bottom. So many times stainless steel pots don't have a very thick bottom, so you're more likely to burn your food. And I do like that it's stainless steel rather than non-stick. Um, there's a, you know, a lot of health concerns now about the non-stick coating when it starts to wear, that it flakes off into your food and can cause some serious health problems. Next, again, there's more warning information. I'll make sure heating element is free from grease and debris. Do not leave food on the heating element. Use only general, genuine instant pot inner pots for cooking. And that's so that you don't void your warranty. Because if you use something else besides their pot, yeah, it will void the warranty, I'm sure. And then the inside of this is a non-stick surface for cleaning. But since it doesn't touch your food, I'm okay with that. Thing is, I'm sure, is the lid. Okay, and I did raise the camera up so you can see this part. Uh, I like that it has the option where you can stick the lid in either side. It has uh, brackets, I guess you could call them, on each side of the lid so that it doesn't matter whether you're right handed, left handed, or whichever way you need to put the lid. Uh, you can put the lid either way, either direction. And then also on the lid, come in here close, is right here, it says open and close, and there's also an arrow 
open and close and then there's an arrow right here that corresponds with an arrow right here on the pot uh, because so that you can know the best way to align the lid when you're trying to put the lid on okay I zoomed in here so hopefully you can see this but right here where I'm pointing is the arrow and this was unlocked so when you want to take it put the lid on you make sure this arrow here aligns with this arrow here that way you know when you twist it to the closed position you also have an arrow here this arrow to line up this arrow with in the closed position and that way you know it's locked and you can't get it open so that's what you get when you purchase an instant pot uh, as i mentioned in my grocery haul when i purchased it i'm really excited to learn how to use this appliance and hope that on those really hot summer not the hot summer days uh, or on those really busy days when I'm just too tired to cook a full meal that I'll still be able to do so without either heating up the house or choosing another maybe less alternative to a dinner when I just am too tired to fix one. So I uh, hope to be able to bring you along for some of the recipes that I try and until next time I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you will comment like and subscribe and you have a wonderful day